Hi guys, what's up? So I'm back with another video because I've received a very important package. So I'm really excited to open this up and see what someone sent me. Bubble wrap, yeah. bubble wrap. And, whoa-ho, okay. So we've got the brand new Cam Ranger Mini. Now this is a sample because it's not quite out yet. So this is gonna be a nice first look and unboxing of the new Cam Ranger Mini. Now, this isn't actually a replacement for the old Cam Ranger. Um, so it's a lot smaller and it offers some familiar features that we're already used to with Cam Ranger devices, but just in a smaller, more compact package. So let's open it up and have a look. Okay, so straight out of the box, we notice this really nice branded hard case. Uh, we get this little Cam Ranger mini guide, which is a quick start guide, which basically tells us everything that we need to know. And then on the back, uh, we've got add motion to your camera, remotely pan and tilt your camera using the PT hub and tripod head, the Hague tripod head. Cool. So let's have a look and see what we've actually got. All right, so here's the actual device itself. Now that is a lot smaller than the old Cam Ranger. It's probably about as long, but it's like definitely half as thick. And then we've got a couple of buttons. We've got USB, so that's what connects to the camera. Uh, DC charge for the internal battery and ethernet port on the back. Uh, we've got the serial number for the Wi-Fi key. So that's a pretty nice compact little device. Very nice. And this card case is really cool as well. Um, and then we've got the cable for the camera. And then the USB charging cable for the Camera Mini. So to give you a little bit of background about what the Camera Ranger Mini actually is, it's a standalone device which connects to a compatible Canon or Nikon DSLR camera. It then generates its own Wi-Fi signal, which then you can hook onto with a tablet or smartphone. It doesn't require an existing Wi-Fi connection to the actual internet. The Wi-Fi aspect is really just a method to connect between your camera and the tablet or smartphone. It then gives you uh, live view functions as well as being able to control the settings on the camera. It's a really useful bit of kit for both photography and filmmaking. So the first thing we need to do is download the Cam Ranger app and then we're good to get everything connected. So we'll go to the App Store here, type in Cam Ranger, hit search, and we want the Cam Ranger Mini app. So we'll go ahead and grab that. To start, you must navigate to your settings and connect to the Cam Ranger Wi Fi. It will then ask you for a password the first time you do this, which is the Wi Fi key that can be found on the back of the device. Once connected to the Wi Fi, make sure the camera is switched on and open the Cam Ranger app. To get the live view, press the I in the bottom right hand corner. So this is uh, the screen that you'll be on pretty much the whole time um, that you're using the application. You'll have your live view here. Uh, your focus adjust is this magnifying glass up here where you can adjust the focus, but you can also just tap on the screen to set the focus wherever you want. So I've just set it over there on that it's a tree by the lake. Over here, we can change the shutter speed uh, of the camera. Uh, we can also change the aperture. Uh, the ISO is also there as well. It's on 400, which is pretty nice for today. We've got the advanced bracketing, that's the auto bracketing up there, and also the time-lapse settings where we can change everything there. We've also got the image formats here. Uh, we've also got the white balance here. I'll change that to a sunny day. Capture mode. So this is your, your burst and your like delay. I'll set the burst. We'll go for six. And metering. Okay, so you've got your exposure setting done here as well. And we'll just pop it to uh, a minus. Minus sort of two, one and a half, because it's a, a sunny day. And then that gives us a nice picture on the screen there. Set the focus back on that tree. 
Okay, so I think we'll uh, try taking a photo now. Uh, so I'll just move the shutter speed back to something more applicable and the aperture as well. The ISO is already on a good one, so that's fine. And we'll just go ahead and hit capture. Uh, we've also got the burst six images on as well that we set earlier. And as it's taking the photos, we can see them here displaying at the top of the screen. So there we go, six lovely photos. If we click on a photo, here we go, it loads up. And to the next one, here it is. So you do have to load a little bit, but you know, it's not too bad. The Wi-Fi connection is pretty good. And we can zoom in just by pinching on the screen. The image loads a little bit, but it's pretty fast. It's not too bad. And the resolution that you get is, uh, is definitely usable when you're out in the field. Uh, we can also expand to make it full screen. And we can also zoom in there as well. Just seeing the image load there. We can also hit share and we can just send that off straight away. And you can also delete straight from the memory card. Up here in the settings, uh, we've got multiple overlays. So that's focus peaking, we can turn that on. So here we go with focus peaking. So it gives you the red dots for what's in focus. The red dots will change as well. Obviously I've got quite a high aperture set, so the depth of field is, uh, is rangy. We can also put on the histogram here, so it comes up in the top left. Uh, we can also turn on the show grid lines. Other things we have are controls and workflows where we can change uh, focus stack, live view zoom, etc. Now the other exciting feature with the Camera Ninja Mini is that you can utilize it with the Hague Pan and Tilt Powerhead to wirelessly control the powerhead. Now to do this, you'll also need the Camera Ninja PTE Hub, which basically connects the Camera Ninja Mini to the camera and the powerhead. Once everything is connected, you can then control the powerhead directions, both pan and tilt through the app and then revert back to the camera controls as required. Okay, so now let's jump into the Camera Ninja Mini app now that we've got the Hague Pan and Tilt Powerhead plugged in. And we're straight away notice that in the top right we've got this tripod with arrows symbol up here. And as soon as we start clicking it, our powerhead starts moving. We can adjust it from slow to fast and we can double tap on an arrow just for the powerhead to go in an auto so I can take my thumb off the screen or we can also just hold our thumb down on an arrow to then just continually pan or tilt or both at the same time whilst manually controlling it. This is a really nice feature because we can see what we're recording or what we're looking at whilst we're also controlling the physical movement of the camera using the remote control pan and tilt power head. This means that we can be a distance away from the camera and still be able to move it a bit like a remote cameraman. It's really great for lots of applications. We can also double tap the arrow and move the slider from slow to fast whilst it is panning and tilting. So it can be automatically panning because we've double tapped it and then we can make it slower and faster. If we click this symbol here, we can also do a panoramic shot. So we control the number of shots, say 10, and the number of degrees that we want the power head to move. Now you will need to calibrate your power head before clicking start, but that's a really useful feature because then the power head will move and take the amount of shots in the amount of degrees that you set automatically. You've also still got all your camera controls that, you, uh, that we saw earlier when the power head wasn't plugged in. So none of that's been taken away here. You've still got all your time-lapse settings here, initial delay, number of shots, time between shots. Uh, we can still obviously adjust the focus and all your camera controls, like your shutter speed, your aperture, your ISO, and all of that is down there as well. It's really quite responsive as well. To say that it's working through Wi-Fi, um, the response when you put your, your thumb on the screen to an arrow, it moves almost instantly. 
Okay guys, so that gives you a brief overview of the Camranger Mini. What's included, how it works, and the options available with the wireless connection to the Hague Pan and Tilt Powerhead. This device is perfect for many applications, including wildlife photography, aerial mass work, filming stage shows, or really just anything where a wireless camera control can be really useful. I put direct links below to the Camranger Mini, the PT Hub, and the Hague Pan and Tilt Powerhead, so go and check them out. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again soon.